Hello, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the error correction widget. You will find the widget minimized on your home view. I want to go ahead and point out that each row of data on this widget is going to pertain to a client for which you have entered in an error request. In this particular case, the MRN column is in blue. That is because this is a hyperlink. I can click on it and it'll take me directly to the error correction form for this particular client and the error request that needs to be completed. In this particular case, I see a status of working. That means that the error correction team is currently working on this. So one of the things I want to make sure when I'm looking to see if there's been any changes or any requests from the error correction team is to click on the refresh icon of my widget. So when I do so, it will refresh and see if there's any new information. You can see that the status turned to red and it now says additional info requested. That lets me know that I've set my error request in because I have this line of data it's turned to red and that means that the error correction team has already looked at my error request and now they need additional information. In order to follow up, I'm going to click on the MRN column, that hyperlink that will open the form. When I do so, it will open up the form and I can see that this is my error request that I put in and the status right there, additional info requested, that's what it turned that widget red. I'm going to go ahead and edit, so I can click edit down here or I can double click, open up my form, and as I scroll down you can see that there's additional information requested. They're asking me, did you already enter the note on the correct client? And yes, I did. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes, I did that yesterday. And once I've entered my notes, I do need to do one more thing. I need to click yes, that I've provided the additional information. That way it triggers this form to notify the error correction team that they have additional information to look at. So I'm going to enter in my response and then I'm going to click yes. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and submit. And when I do so, I'm back at my front. I'm going to refresh my widget and now you can see it's back to working. So now it's back in the hands of the error correction team. They're going to look at that. If they need additional information, they'll change it back. And then I need to refresh periodically. And once the error correction has been completed, the status will change to complete. And that completes our video on the widget.